Well, there's an interesting new gun I've been shooting a, a bit lately, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Something that it's old and new at the same time. It's old because it's a spring piston air gun. A lot of people moving towards PCPs, and one of the reasons is to get to a bigger caliber. Spring piston air guns uh, have been limited to about 25 caliber. There have been a few around for 25 caliber for a, for a few years, but um, recently Hatson came to market with a 30 caliber air gun. And just to give you a little bit of example, that's a, a 177 pellet. That's a 25 pellet this is a 30 caliber pellet. So you're actually putting out pretty big chunks of lead um, when you're shooting with a 30. Well, can the gun handle it? We'll look at that on the range in just a few minutes. What I want to talk about is the gun itself. It's solidly built, comes in either a wood or a synthetic. I like the wood, but it's a wood stock, um, nicely shaped, nice stipling. There's an adjustable cheek piece, which I think is a great thing in hunting guns. It's always been something that guys that are target shooting want, but I think it's something that helps us shoot better in the field uh, when we're out hunting as, as well. Uh, the metal work is all really well done, as is the, the wood. Uh, it's heavy. The gun has to be heavy, it has to be big to generate the power that's needed for this big caliber. Brake barrel comes with open sights. The gun incorporates uh, Hudson's QE technology, their quiet energy technology. To be honest, do you really need that in a spring piston gun that's doing around high five, 600 feet per second? No, you're not, getting, you're not breaking the uh, sound barrier, you're not getting that sonic crack, and most of the noise you get comes out of the mechanics, but it doesn't hurt either, and it makes a good cocking handle for cocking the gun. Cocking effort is pretty strong in this gun. Probably, I haven't measured, but I'm guessing 50, 55 pounds. It's, it takes a bit of effort. Wouldn't want to use this for a plinking gun, but for a, a hunting gun where you're going to cock it 10 or 15 times in a day, 20 times, that's fine. I did a shot string on this where I ran 60 shots and a 60. I was, I was feeling it in my arm, I was feeling it in my, my head from, uh, from the, the bit of uh, bi-directional recoil. The gun comes with, uh, with swivel slings. One is over on the side that you can't see, one at the, uh, the bottom of the, uh, the butt in the standard position. Um, uses a weaver style scope mount. Uh, scope stop built into the gun. Safety automatically deploys when the gun's cocked. Not my favorite thing in the world, but that's the way guns, are, especially the spring pistons, are going these days. So I'm going to shoot this and take a look at what we get on the range. And I'm um, going to get out and do some hunting with it in the coming weeks as well, and I'll post more on it then. So let's see what this gun can do. But uh, I'm out in the snow, in the cold, as you see, and I got the uh, Hudson, the Carnivore 30. It's a big bore spring piston air rifle. So what are my thoughts on this big 30 caliber spring piston rifle? It's powerful at close to 35 foot pounds of energy. It's accurate for small, medium game out to 35 yards, maybe further, but I shot to 35. Smaller and young shooters might have some trouble with cocking and recoil, but you know that can be said with any Magnum Springer. This is not a target gun or a plinker. If you want to punch a big hole in quarry using a Springer, this gun is well worth a look.